Okay, I got a problem. Not her letting me know that I'm doing something right. Ooh, do I have a new fave now? We are giving face and hair, baby. Are we loving this hair or what? I love this wig, honey. It was given $50, 10 inches, Amazon, I'll link it below in case you care for it. All I did was put my foundation all over the lace. It's a what, six by four? And then I put my foundation here on top and then I put my bronzer down here because that's the hairline. So it needs to melt into not only my skin, but also my bronzer when I actually do my face. So, you know, that's all I did, baby. Then I bumped it. Okay, I did bump it a little bit. Okay, I did more. <laughs> I put that wax stick, you feel me? And then laid it down with the curling iron. It's not a lot, it's not a lot. I didn't do much to it. It is very easy. Easy going, you know, easy breezy. But let's pin it back. I don't have those special clips, you feel me? So let's pin it back. I hope it's not gonna leave no marks. What y'all be doing with this? Do you, you cover the hair like that? So it doesn't leave, doesn't leave a mark? <laughs> let's do that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. In real life, I do not put a wig on before makeup. I do the wig after the makeup because of all this. <laughs> all right, let's try some new things. Oh my gosh, I pulled out my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. The shade is Molly. Remember this from ages ago? What, last year? I'm being dramatic. I was gonna use this, but then I was reminded that this company called Yensa sent me this Superfood Serum Silk Foundation. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of this company in my life. If you have, comment and let me know. All links to all products are below. Make sure you follow on all socials too. Super Serum Silk Foundation has vitamin C and E, ferulic and bakuchiol 8. Super black essence. What is this super black essence? I have no clue. Let's try this, cause I don't know what this is supposed to do. And let's just build up from there. I was gonna do my NARS, but we are gonna come back to this another day. Cause that's an old school favorite, right? From, you know, some time ago, I have a video on it. Make sure you watch that. I got up at six, worked out already. Proud of myself, done my skincare after I showered, of course. Now we're doing a lip primer. I swear by this because not only does it hydrate, it'll get tacky, which helps for the lip product to stay. And then under the lip product, it's not going to be chapped and gross. Granted, you do need to exfoliate your lips, have a routine where you do that. That's important, you know? And then go ahead and do your lip primer. So this is saying that prep skin with the tone up primer, which I don't, I'm not using the primer that comes with it. Apply and blend an even layer with the blending tool. Okay, so I got two brushes. Which one is the blending tool? Okay, I just choose what I want to do. These are the two brushes that I have. I'll use this one to blend the foundation because it looks like it's supposed to be for foundation. Can they go on the face? I don't know. Let's do back of the hand. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, this is a great shade. What is the shade? Is there a shade on here? Okay, it's called Deep Four. Ooh, they matched me well. Thanks for sending this. I don't know what to expect. Oh, wait. Oh, this looks great. Wow. <laughs> wow, this looks great. I am pleased. Let's build this up. Never heard of this company before, and I am pleased. Hmm, now this matches me well. It is nice and deep. Now let's see if they got some shade ranges going on here. Cause come on, we not gonna celebrate if they gonna be acting up, okay? Okay, I got a problem. Yensa, all right, it's $45. They got 16 shades and depending on your skin tone, I would say a good four shades for dark skin. That's a problem, what in the world? So if you're darker than me, this is not gonna work for you. Unless, you know, I go dark with my shade. So if this will be your perfect shade, then yes. But if you're, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I wanna try it. If you're much darker than me, mm-mm. Mm -mm. This is really pretty though, good Lord. So this is for deep to very deep skin with neutral undertones. I can see that, I can see that. Ah, and the coverage is great. It is covering my eyebrows. Wow and wow. All right, this is a full coverage product. I can see that. Dang, my skin looks great. Ah, oh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm looking to see where you can buy this. It's on Amazon, QVC. Who uses QVC anymore? Yo, that reminds me of like my mom watching TV. QVC, Saks Fifth Avenue, okay. Putting that in my stash, cause I do see myself using it again, at least for right now. I think this was great. I do just wish that there were a lot more shades. You think that brown skin girls don't watch QVC? I mean, I don't, but old people do. <laughs> Let's use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. And this is the shade, hi. Is there even a shade? <laughs> Y'all didn't write down the shade on this? You got all kind of information, the manufacturing information, but you ain't got the shade on here? Okay, I don't know what shade this is. E.l.f. Are playing games. You understand it's affordable, but can you give us some more information? Hi. Well, here we have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel, honey. I don't know what shade this is, but clearly it's very light. <laughs> 
we gonna make it do what it do because that's what I do. Here we go, we are blending the concealer and it is blending in in a very lovely fashion. We already know that e.l.f. be doing what they gotta do with these concealers. Now this is the hydrating one. I like to wear deep chestnut in the matte one and of course that's matte. So if you have dry under eyes, fine lines and wrinkles and you don't want it to be so prominent, then go for this hydrating one. Unless you have a routine where you use the matte one cause you prefer that one and you're comfortable with how your under eye looks, then stick with that. This one shouldn't make your fine lines and wrinkles so prominent, okay? Cause it has some more hydration in it. I'm still gonna set it, but you could, if you wanted to skip the setting, you feel me? But mm -mm, baby, I'm gonna set this boo boo. I'm gonna set this. And of course, if your face feels dry at any point, no matter what foundation or concealer you're using, use the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, honey. It's gonna make your face look dewy like this. And it just looks so good. I was at soccer practice one day and this mom, I have my sunglasses on and everything, honey. She came close to me and she goes, your skin is so beautiful. I had on makeup that day, but I had sprayed this spray, right? And it was a cold day. I mean, a bundled up cold day, but my face was glowing. And that makes a huge difference. I'm trying to tell you something right now, no matter how brick it is outside, you don't want your face. I don't. I don't want my face to look as dry as the air. So she came into me. She goes, oh my goodness, your skin looks beautiful. I took a lot. Wow. It is glowing. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she goes, wow, I wish my skin could look like that. My skin is so dry. And she had beautiful, natural skin. She had on no makeup, at least it looked like it to me. And I was like, well, your skin is gorgeous. Thank you. She goes, oh no, I wish my skin could glow like yours. Your skin is so glowy. And I was thinking, yo, is that spray? I mean, yeah, I do my skincare routine. Hello. <laughs> I take care of my face. But it was glowing even more so in that cold, dry weather because I had sprayed this Hydro Grip Spray Girl. I'm telling you, I was so pleased. I was like, you better go ahead and give me my flowers. Cause you know how people will notice things about you, whether you smell good, look good, and they might not say anything cause they're shy or they just don't feel like it. But when someone said, when someone acknowledges the effort you put into yourself, it just hits differently. And I was like, ooh, not her letting me know that I'm doing something right. You know, praise the Lord. So I was really pleased with that. And I said, oh, this is my go-to spray for this weather. I took too much because I want my face to glow even though it's mad cold outside. Who's trying for that? Your face shouldn't be looking like the weather. You know, I'm not gonna look like what I'm going through. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Still looking glowy because the concealer matches the finish of this foundation. Yensa sent this contour. It's called Sun Glow Silk Bronzing Base. This looks very deep and very beautiful. I said Sun Glow, excuse me, Sundown Glow. This is one of the four shades. Okay. So it's a lightweight silk cream bronzer infused with eight age-defined black superfoods to give you a natural and healthy glow. Okay. I'm gonna use the other brush, which is this one right here, to blend in the contour. It's a bronzer, but it's gonna be a contour for me because of the deepness of the shade. Oh, wait a minute, wait. I'm really digging in this, can you see? And, okay, you gotta really get up in here, which is good if you are a beginner, but if you're like me, I just want to dig up in here and get right to it, you feel me? So this is giving, you have time to build this up. Huh, okay, okay. We have the pigmentation here, we're gonna blend this more. All right, it's subtle. It's not as dark as my LIS bronzer. And the reason why I love that is not only the shade, but because it's so pigmented, it gets you from A to Z quickly, you feel me? It's the difference between a McLaren and a Honda, you know? <laughs> I mean, let's call it what it is, okay? But there's a time and place for this if you are a beginner or intermediate and you are still trying to narrow down and finesse your contour, this is great so that you can have time. You feel me? You can have time to get to it and not, you know, you may not want to get to Z so fast because if it's not in the right place, you may hate what you just did and then you got to wipe it off and start all over again. It's just too much, you feel me? I got some freshly clean brushes. Let's get some of this and then tackle the nose. This is a great shade because it doesn't always need to be so deep. And we are going to put powder on top, which is going to deepen it even more. You just, you know me though. You know I like to really go at it, you know I me? Mean? We gotta go at it to the point where we can't breathe. <laughs> Now, I need to fix this because I'm seeing this huge line of demarcation. I'm gonna use my sponge, but for now, I'm gonna wipe off this contour and blend where the lines are. Okay, I should have just used my sponge because some of the contour has transferred up and not any way that I want. <laughs> so this is the part where the concealer was. Let's go over this again. See, I had to bring some more of the concealer back and then the clean side is going to go over it. We're gonna finesse all of this again, okay? Okay, dough and and key. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this with powder. 
Ugh. Oh, my under eyes are not creasing too much, which is nice. I mean, they're creasing naturally, but what I mean is the concealer is not separating. So I could just leave it, but I'm not going to, okay? Let's see this Milk Cosmetics translucent powder. This is the shade translucent medium. All right, so I'm going in first to make sure that I don't have any creasing because you want the product to settle into those lines when it open, okay? <laughs> so make this face as always, all right? Right up in there, I'm taking this translucent powder because I don't need the color, I don't need anything. I just need to set it. And then the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, which I have been enjoying. It's a loose powder. You know, I like to do my Huda Beauty pressed luminous, but this one is a loose luminous. Do you feel me? Okay, so let's take this. And we still want the glow to take place under the eyes. It just all comes together. It just, it does something for the look. You feel me? The days of me doing the matte under eye have been gone for a very long time. I don't even know who that is anymore. This is a Sephora 79 brush. And look at that. It's just so subtle. If you have been doing a luminous under eye, since watching my videos, you gotta comment and let me know. I know that when I first tried it, I was horrified. I hope that I didn't scare you away too soon. I myself needed to get used to it. You feel what I'm saying? Let's do some more of this milk translucent around the other parts of the face where I have put my highlight just to take away the shine. We're not adding any color. We're just taking down the shine. And then with this, just going over the brows, I like doing my brows where they're not so greasy. The brow product just goes on a lot better. Now, one thing that I have tried recently that I have been enjoying is a brow sculpt. Because I do my brows so uniquely, I wasn't a huge fan of the gluing up the brows, but I, I tried this and I actually do enjoy it. When I did try this Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt, it was after I had done my full brow. This is 262. I want to try this now beforehand. It's going to give it some color and also freeze up the brows. And then we're going to fill them in. You feel me? So right here in the front, because I do cut off the tail of my brow. You know that. And I love it. I like to make my own freaking shape how I feel best. Now, I didn't press it. Should I be pressing it down? Y'all be over here pressing it so the brow is flat. I don't want that necessarily. Okay. So let's just leave this up like this. And then we're going to fill it in. Now I'm about to do eyebrows and I forgot to set my contour. Uh -huh. Hi, that's a problem. We're gonna use the e.l.f. powder foundation to deepen this up. This is a Shade Rich 660N. This is a Milk Cosmetics brush. It looks just like the one from Sephora, literally, okay? And the Sephora one is the 59 brush. I'll use the Milk one. Let's add some powder to here. Oh my God, I even forgot I didn't do my face powder. Yo, whenever the face looks amazing, I forget steps. Wow. I'm sitting here like there's a lot of things missing. I hadn't done this. I haven't done my face powder, which is the powder that I use to bring it all together. This is Costa's Cloud Set. The shade is Velvet. I need to dig out my Patrick Star because there's two Patricks. I gotta dig out my Patrick Star powder foundation. The sh it's a it's called Deep Golden or what? Deep. Dark 4G, yeah, Dark 4 Golden. I love it because it golds up my face. <laughs> golds up my face, imagine. It makes my face golden. Ah, you get what I'm talking about. And it does it in the most beautiful way. I need to grab that because this face is looking very, very neutral and I need some goldenness to it. We're gonna make it work. It's cool. Okay. And then obviously by now, oh yeah, the brows are, they're not like plastic, but they're there, okay? And we're gonna use this Sephora Collection brow product. This is the shade Granite. I've been enjoying this. You know, I do the Charlotte Tilbury normally, but with the sales that been happening at Sephora, why not grab an option that is more affordable? Cause I be going through brow products quickly. I mean, how much is in this, this tube anyway? You feel me? So for the price, maybe 30% off, like three times a year, hello? So I grabbed this and this shade is perfect for me. Granite, it's soft black. If you've tried this product and you love it, let me know. So I'm doing the upward strokes. And then of course we're gonna connect the top and fill it in as we're connecting. It's so, I to do brows when they're hard like this, but I get it. I really do get it. And with the tip of the brow, I'm raising it up because I like that. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> I'm raising it up. You feel me? Oh my God. I almost took my Old Faithful blush. And then I remember that they sent a blush and it's this beautiful orange. The shade is Vibrant Coral. Let's try this out with the butt of this sponge. Okay. Look, I was just jumping around steps. Wait, I don't see a lot being picked up. See, I mean, I'm, yeah, this is great if you need time to build it up. I'm just spoiled by the Din and some Myricks one where you gotta be careful not to take too much. All of this depends on where you are in the stages of your makeup game and if you need time or if you are in a rush. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. But yeah, the color is there as I'm building it up. It is subtle. Do I have enough on? <laughs> you could be looking like, yes, you have enough on, stop. And here I am still applying more. 
It's there. It's subtle. Pretty too. Oh, okay. I like to make sure that this there's a gradient, so I'm taking some more of this powder to darken up the back here toward my hairline so that it just flows in together, you feel me? But now I feel like I put too much blush over here. I'm doing something wrong these days. <laughs> like, what is giving that circle around the eyes? That was my fault. That's a user error. My nails are messed up, but we have this nude glow product from Nude Sticks. Let's use this. Now we do need to go down the middle of the nose. Should I just draw it? I don't know how pigmented or non-pigmented this is. Oh, okay, good. It's gonna allow me to build it up. It's not too much. Ooh, ooh. Do I have a new fave now? Cause you know I normally do the milk product. Ooh, I like how easy this was. Okay. And then we can just draw right above the lid. Okay, this is forgiving. This is forgiving. It is not too harsh at all. Oh, Okay, you can build it up. I was gonna say I wanted it more light. You know me, I needed to really boom, ba ba boom, ba da 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 Let's do some more right here. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh, that's nice. Oh yes, this is nice. I just like the ease of it, okay? But now when it comes to here, I don't, okay, let's just pounce it because I don't need this to look so harsh. I'll use my finger and do this part. Yeah, nice and creamy, okay. I like that it's like a pencil. Oh, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. <laughs> Oh, that's good. If you feel like you're not gonna get your nose highlight, if you do this, if you don't, fine. But if you want more precision with your nose highlight, I enjoyed using this. I will say I was zealous, so the bottom is not as pointy as I want it to be. So taking the brush without any other product, I'm just bringing the contour in some more. I was having a lot of fun. And I love this right here. It looks so cute with the actual lip product when we get to that. So for the eyes, let's use the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. I almost said better than sex, it's better than chocolate. Palette, I wanna warm the cream up with this Amicola eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna switch between these two brown shades to warm the crease up and let's see. You know, I'm, oh wait, this is darker than I expected. Hold on, we're gonna warm it up with Cake My Day because brownie points is a lot darker than I thought. By looking at it, I thought I had time. Okay, Cake My Day will give it that reddish brown look and then we do brownie points. So here is Cake My Day by itself. So look at that, beautiful, and then brownie points. Nice and dark. <laughs> Darker than I expected. And this is a random elf brush. I'm gonna do the reddish brown, which is Cake My Day, and now brownie points to darken this up. That got very dark very quickly. Wow, uh, brownie points is a lot darker than I expected. <laughs> this look is a lot darker than I was going for, but in the best way. I'm learning this palette. I'm so used to using the Huda Obsessions one that, wow, what a pleasant surprise. We're doing a smoky eye with this magnetic luminous eye color. The shade is smoke. Oh, you can barely see it. Ah, oh, but it's there, just subtly. Look at that. In a way, it goes with my top, which wasn't what I was trying to do, but huh. Okay, it's a silvery, gray, bronze, subtle color. Ah, and it's creamy. It's not too dry. Ah, I, I, I can't explain it, but I really enjoy this. Okay, we're focusing on the first three quarters of the eyelid because on the tail end, I'm going to deepen it up with the brown. And it's looking like a cut crease. I really enjoy this. I don't know, the last time I've used a color like this. So now let's get up in this crease and make it look nice. I'm gonna take that reddish brown, which is Cake My Day, to add some dimension to that line. So it's not so harsh. Okay, makes a subtle difference, but I can see it, especially up close. And then right here, we're adding some of this brown, or the reddish brown. Add some dimension, add some flavor, some personality to it. And then brownie points, which is this dark brown. More so on the edge. I don't want to take away the reddish brown. I want it to still be there, but I want there to be a gradient. You feel me? So there's that. So that it all blends together. This is a lip bar straight out of Patience smudge eyeliner. With the Sephora 22 brush, I'm gonna soften up this liner and just smudge it. Little baby wing, not intentionally. I just want it to be smudged. We're gonna do our good old Fenty Hella Thick Mascara on the bottom lashes. I've actually been enjoying the Estee Lauder one on the bottom, but I can't get over how much I love this one too. So let's do this right now. I like to really pile it on. I love when my lashes look full and thick. That is what I need and like. Okay, now I've 
got this lippy from Makeup Revolution. Do I wanna do this today? I almost wanna do something light because of my top and the eye. Let me do what I do know, which is to line the lips because that's normally how I get through blockages. I say, if I don't know what to wear, I know I at least know the makeup, let's do that. I at least know my hairstyle, let's do that. And then I'll narrow things down or, or think about it in the shower, I'll just figure it out. So I at least know that I'm gonna put a brown lip liner on, so let's do that. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and the shade is Limitless Brown. I like this so much. You know what, let's just do this lip stain. I can lighten the inside if needed, because I really feel like I'm gonna want that lighter. It's the shade Caramel Nude. This was in the Makeup Revolution advent calendar. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Hmm, no. Okay, by itself is really pretty. Should I lighten this in the middle, give it a little ombre? I don't know. I think this is so pretty. I need more of the glow, the Nude Sticks glow right here. It went away. <laughs> Let's get my liner here so that doesn't look so perfect. <laughs> I brought the highlight too far over. <laughs> I'm annoyed, the highlight's going more over on this side. Okay, this is a pretty color. Let's leave it. I like, what do you think? It still matches my shirt and my eye look really well. Okay, good, this, did they, did I get a cramp? A cramp, a cramp. I'm annoyed, woo, honey. We are giving face and hair, baby. What do you think about it? I love how this look came out. I was gonna spray it with the milk spray that I told you about, but I look and feel hydrated. So I don't need to, but if I start to feel dry in a little bit, I will spray the face. I'll push the hair away and do that. But just having that spray on deck is really, really important. I feel sexy and beautiful. I love the look. Comment below and let me know what part about this look that you love. All links are below. If you got products that you want me to review, I want you to comment that and let me know as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.